Gurley now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 20. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Offense staying ahead of the chains here, second and three. Taking it right down Broadway. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. He tried to get something going there with a little toss behind the line of scrimmage. Unsuccessful. How about the athleticism of the coverage, though? Being able to dance with him coming out of the backfield. That's not easily done. But not only did he dance, took it, wheeled, and went the other way. Ended up with six points for his team. And his kick is right through. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again but they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Now a desperate, he's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Now the point after try for Santos. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football? Is it that simple? That's exactly right, because ball security is paramount. And you got a small cushion, a field goal can tie you, but you don't even think that way. Just take care of the ball, close out the game. Will they close it out? We're about to find out. They'll run with Elliott. And he now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. They'll send the tight end in motion left. 
On second down, Elliott. And an alley to run. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And then his guys will take a 10-point lead. Kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Smith now to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. were there but it falls incomplete one of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading trying to figure out what they're doing and on that one they had to fly just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it what people call a dagger route trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out in this case though they're not able to get it done yeah they said forget the underneath route they went for the guy on the fly but as you said incomplete Smith. And able to locate Wilson. And he's brought down after a good game. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. And quickly they get to the line. On first and 10, Smith. He's got time in the pocket. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right. sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Brandon, what we just saw there is something we hear from coaches throughout the league. How are you going to defend what they call the moment of truth ball, meaning a 50-50, the ball's in the air, defender's there, receiver's there. Who's going to make a play on the football? And in this case, the defensive guys actually got it done and knocked it away. Now Smith, finding time. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it 
falls incomplete. He was trying to get it off to Jamal Charles there, and it's third down. There's no shyness there pushing the ball downfield, but I like the coverage on the play in good position. And when you have a 50-50 ball, who's going to come down with it? I like the way they made the play, came across, and knocked it away. Throwing on third down, Smith. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. One receiver left, three to the right. One last throw here for Smith. Under pressure, and they got to him again. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.